Hey everybody, Pastor Jason and Pastor Andy here with you on this wide open Wednesday. Come on, come on. This is a Wednesday to think yes. wide. Thank I'm you telling you, spirit. we have thought so narrowly, so narrowly, but Expanding now this is a year of expand. It's the year of increase. We believe Expanding that God is bringing angelic release into our lives and we have to widen the area of our tent and believe Thank for the impossible today. So I bless you today in the name of Jesus. Pastor Andy, we have been talking about thinking kingdom. I'm telling you right now. Thinking kingdom. I think we done hopped on something we might I'm, be around. I'm for telling you what. <laughs> I'm telling you what. And, and here's the thing. The, the whole word is full of thinking that turns conventional wisdom yes. on its head. Yes. And so, so we began by talking about the fact that we didn't need to worry about what God was going to provide on, for us on, because he already... He already knew what we needed. That's right. We also uh, we also talked about having to love our enemies yes. rather than hate our enemies and love our friends. We had to love our enemies and love our friends. Come on. Obviously, we Come don't on. leave the loving our friends part off, but that was kind of easy. Yes. Now we jump into another one, and this one right here. This one right here is a big one. Mm -hmm. This one's a big one because there's one thing in conventional wisdom. There's one thing. That the whole world circulates around Come on. money. Money. That's it. I want you to see a thing right here, Pastor Andy. I want you to. I want us to begin in verse twenty-four of Matthew chapter six. We're still in the middle of the Sermon on the Mount, the greatest yes. sermon yes. anybody ever preached ever. Yes. And this is what Jesus says: No one can serve two masters. Come on. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money yes when we make money the focal point of our lives come on now here's the deal you and i need money yes absolutely uh we need money yes. and everybody who is watching us and listening to us today also needs money yes sir yes sir it is the currency of the world That's it right. is the currency of the present system That's right. however money is not the currency of the kingdom come on come on so what we have to do is we have to make sure that that money doesn't become God. Yes. That money stays where it's supposed to be, that it becomes a tool yes. when we need to work and it becomes a weapon when we need to fight. Mm -hmm. And we don't need to get those two things That's right. mixed up. That's right. We don't need to mix up our our money, That's right. make our make our tool Come on. a weapon, and we don't need to make our weapon a tool. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus, Jesus caps basically kind of caps that whole thought off mm -hmm. but he begins right here in verse one of chapter six when he says this be sure that you do not do your charitable deeds before men yes. to be seen by them mm -hmm. Come on. so this is the part where i'm speaking now to christians yes absolutely where i'm saying that you mm -hmm. that you come in with money and all of a sudden now the money aspect of yes. this whole thing becomes becomes now this is my righteousness yes. yes i want you to see how righteous i am because of all of my charitable deeds god you have to notice me now and everybody has to know what a righteous person i am because i'm so charitable jesus mm -hmm. says it like this be sure that you do you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them otherwise you have no reward in heaven. Yes. So that tells me two things. One is if I do it before men, I don't have a reward in heaven. Mm -hmm. However, God intends my charitable deeds to be investment Come on. in my reward in heaven. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what God intends in the same way that he intended my enemies to be a blessing to me. Yes. He intends my charitable deeds to be a reward mm -hmm. for me. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. How powerful is this? Yes. Therefore, when you do not do you, you do your charitable deeds, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that may, they may be honored by men. Truly, I say to you, they have their reward. Yes. They got what they wanted. That's, Everybody that's noticed. exactly it. But you, when you do your charitable deeds, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deeds may be in secret. And your father, who sees in secret, will himself that's right that's right reward you openly that's right 
So this is the part, Pastor Andy, where we put money in its proper place. Mm -hmm. How many times have we missed church because we needed to stay on our job? Come on. Come on. I'm telling you. How many times have we said, I just don't have time for prayer and I just don't have time to read my word because my job Come is on. so hectic because Come I on. work such long hours. Come on. How many times have we said, I would love to be a person who tithes, but I don't even have enough to pay my bills. Come on. How many times have we, have we looked at things and had a seed in our pocket, but we had an intention for that seed to bring us something else yes. other than being put into ministry and into the kingdom. Yeah. yeah. How many times have we used the subject of money and how God wants me to be blessed mm -hmm. to justify pushing the kingdom to the back burner? You know, it reminds me uh, one time the spirit of God, he, he spoke to me. He said, when justification comes in, revelation goes out. Woo! So, so immediately when you begin to justify what you're doing that wow. you know, you know is against the ways of God, revelation of the word, revelation of how to walk in the kingdom yes. at that point in time is beginning to leave. My God, when justification comes in, yes. revelation, revelation goes, goes out. These My two cannot God. stay in the same place. Wow. They cannot stay in the same place. So as we're looking, let's look at. Let's look at six and let's go to um, let's go to verse nineteen. Okay, and it says, "Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, hmm. where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal." Yeah, how many of us can bear witness that we put money back? We've done all these mm -hmm. things, and then here it comes; it's gone. Yeah. I, I tell people all the time. I mm -hmm. said. You know, how many people, uh, especially back in 2008, mm -hmm. we, we would, especially me, I was going around talking to so many people that had their retirement put up. Yeah. The stock market plunges. Mm -hmm. Their retirement vanishes literally before their eyes. Yes. They watch it go away. Yes. Yes, that's true. That's true. You stored it up. Mm -hmm. You stored it up. Mm -hmm. And now it's gone. Yes. All right. Let's keep on. Yeah. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, mm -hmm. where neither neither moth nor rust destroys, mm -hmm. where thieves do not break in and steal. Mm -hmm. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Yes. So so now Jesus is letting us know there is a heart connection. Yes, that's exactly right. There, there's a heart connection. Mm -hmm. Into where your where your finances and mm -hmm. where your riches mm -hmm. and where where you're putting your treasures. Yes, there is a heart connection there. Mm -hmm. Why? Because most people figure it is the safest place. Mm -hmm. Look at what he went over. He said, "Where moth mm -hmm. and rust can't destroy, thieves cannot steal." Mm -hmm. So when you do it on earth, thieves mm -hmm. can steal it. Moth and rust can destroy it. Yeah, but when you do it in heaven, it's still there. Mm -hmm. You can still access it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can still access it. Nothing else can get it. Watch this. Here's the revelation. Get ready. The lamp of the body is the eye. Mm -hmm. Therefore, your eye is good. Then if your eye is good, the whole body will be full of light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. Yes. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness... How great is that that is darkness? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, you have to realize he's still talking about your heart and money. Yes. Look at the very next scripture. Yes. Yes. This this landed in between two money scriptures. Yes. Yes. Two, two riches mm -hmm. scripture. Here we go. No one can serve two masters. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. All of these scriptures, Jesus is connecting together. Yes. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God 
and money. Yep. You, you can't do both. Can't. What are you trying to say, Pastor yes. Andy? What I'm trying to tell you is this right here. Mm -hmm. In the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. your riches can be stored up mm -hmm. where you can always access them. Yes, that's true. That is true. Always access them. That is true. And you're sitting around saying, Pastor Andy, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. How can I save money in heaven? Mm -hmm. Sure. I, I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. how can I save money in yeah. heaven? And when I need money, yeah. I can go get it. Mm -hmm. Have you lost your mind? Right. What are we talking about here? Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about is the revelation that God, as you put riches in, mm -hmm. they go up in heaven mm -hmm. and he goes ahead and has a harvest for you in your future. Yes. Yes. Therefore, mm -hmm. you're looking at it from the perspective mm -hmm. of being broke mm -hmm. and always in need. Mm -hmm. God is looking at it from the perspective saying, if you'll put your treasure here mm -hmm. in due season, you'll reap a harvest where you won't be broke and you won't be in need. Mm -hmm. That's and right. at that place... You can turn around and you'll turn around and say, well, it's not that big of a deal for the savings. Mm -hmm. In other words, you stop thinking worldly. Yes, yes. You start thinking heavenly. Mm -hmm. As you start thinking heavenly, you're no longer bound mm -hmm. to the God of money. Yes, that's You're right. no longer locked in. That's the reason. I, I tell people all the time, I said, me and Pastor Jeremy, we was as broke as you can get. That year, Pastor Jeremy did... Uh, did his taxes that year, he had made $12,000 that year. Mm -hmm. Now he's got a family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I made a whopping 16. <laughs> <laughs> you divide that by 52, mm -hmm. you'll find out what we was bringing in. Yeah. Very little. Yeah. A guy comes up to us and he looks at us and he says, Hey, man, I like y'all. I have a great opportunity for you. Listen, the, the the neighboring county are hiring firemen. You can come over here. You'll you'll start off making forty five thousand dollars a year with all benefits, mm. retirement, insurance, everything that we we didn't have. Yeah. Okay. And and I can get you guys on, and then you can still do your company just like I'm doing my company at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you're talking to two people who put together did not make $30,000. Right, that's right. I mean, if you add our income yeah. together. Yeah. He said, I can get you on there hiring right now. They'll bring you on within a week. Wow. Our first question, Pastor Jason, we said, with the hours you named off, do we have to work weekends? He said, well, sometimes we said, well, how do you go to church? Hmm. He said, well, I can only go to church twice a month. Hmm. We said, and we can't do that. Yeah, it's not for us. We wow. can't do that. Wow. We Sorry, we can't do that. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I still go to church. We said, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> but we, we can't do that. Right. We have to be there. Yeah. Now, listen to what I'm telling you right now. Within one year, our finances had grown about twenty thousand dollars a year. We mm -hmm. we still wasn't making much. Okay. Right. He was going through a divorce and losing everything and had filed bankruptcy. Wow, wow, wow. Out of church. Yeah. Look at the opportunity the devil laid in front of us. Yes. That here it is. You mm -hmm. can have it. Right. I will give you all of this mm -hmm. in trade for that. That's right. And we turned around and said, no, I don't I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I want the kingdom. Yeah. I want the kingdom. I want the kingdom. I'm not promising you to be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. that, that is not the promise I'm That's making right. to you. God took care of us. He paid everything. And during that time, Pastor had Jeshua. Mm -hmm. Okay, during that time. Yeah, I remember that. I no remember insurance. Yeah. No insurance. God paid the bill. Yeah, I remember telling God paid that. the yeah. bill at the hospital. I'll, listen, 
what I'm trying to tell you is, is you can't serve them both. Yeah. But we could have brought in justification. Mm -hmm. And Revelation would have went out the window. Mm -hmm. Wow. It had went out the window for him. Mm -hmm. he, he was trying to look out for our best interest. Yes. He was bringing up everything he knew. He said, here it is. Conventional wisdom. Conventional wisdom. Mm -hmm. He was saying, here it is. All yeah. you have to do is miss twice. Let me tell you, we was not pastors. Right, right. We wasn't. We was in the back of the choir. <laughs> we would not miss church. Yeah. To be in the back of the choir. Yeah. yeah. I, I, people listen to this and they're they're like, "Well, that's just you. You're 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 a pastor." No, 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 no. I was not then. Mm -hmm. I was not then. Yeah. You have to hear. You cannot go to that conventional wisdom, that yes. conventional thinking. You have to turn around and say, I'm going to put my treasures in heaven. Mm -hmm. As I'm putting my treasures in heaven, I can access them when I need them. God will have it already laid out yes. for me. Yes. He'll already be ahead of me. Yeah. Laying all the all these things out. Mm -hmm. We did not know mm -hmm. at that point in time. I have to go here. Yeah. At that point in time, Pastor Jeremy and Lisa could not have children. Mm, that's true. He didn't know the miracles yeah. that God knew. Mm -hmm. So he's sitting around broke. The last thing on his mind mm -hmm. is having to pay mm -hmm. the hospital for delivery. Yeah. Turns around, God works a miracle. They have a child. Mm -hmm. Now there's a bill that has to be paid for delivery. Mm -hmm. No insurance. Mm -hmm. Zero insurance. Yeah. Who pays it? Mm -hmm. The treasure in heaven. Yes. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? I do. The treasure in heaven <laughs> paid the bill. The treasure in heaven gave the miracle. I'm not saying he bought a miracle. I'm saying his treasure mm -hmm. was up in heaven where it was supposed to be. Amen. And when he needed to access it, it was given. It was no different with me. That's right. The treasure in heaven was supplied. I would have vehicles break down one day and literally have a different vehicle the next day. Mm -hmm. I, I watched God do this time and yep. time and time and time and time again. We're talking about not worrying. We're talking about not going to conventional right. thinking. We're talking about not justifying, not justifying, not walking in God's ways so that you can walk in his revelation. That's right. It is completely different than how this world thinks. Mm -hmm. Do not expect them to condone or understand. It. Yes. Yes. They're going to look at you and say, that's a little more than I can handle. <laughs> That's right. I, I'm just telling you. Yeah. And it's okay. They're speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. It is more than they can yes. handle. But I'm telling you, it is the way mm -hmm. of God. It's the way to walk in the miracles. Amen. And so many times, what am I talking about with the lamp of the eye? Mm -hmm. When you're keeping this world pumping in your eyes all the yes. time, and you're not keeping this word pumping in your mm -hmm. eyes all the time, your light is going to get dark. Yes. And your darkness is going to get darker. Yes. That's and right. you're going to struggle to muster up to have enough faith to trust in God. Yes. So today, as we pray, I'm going to be praying for you. And I'm going to ask the Lord to create a shift in your mind mm. that will get your eyes off of what you think you need. Mm. Come on. What you think you want. Come on. <laughs> To get your eyes off of those things and to get your eyes on Jesus today. Father, in the name Thank of Jesus, you, Holy Spirit. Shout out to you. Father, we declare today, Lord God, that our God is not money, that our God is not things, that our God is not accumulations. We declare in the name of Jesus that you are our God and we are your people. We are the sheep of your pasture, Almighty God. Thank you for your Father, so we just stand in agreement today that the blessing of the Lord makes one rich. And you had no sorrow with it, God. So I stand in agreement now with my brothers and my sisters, Almighty God. 
that there is a shift coming yes. in our minds, God. Yes. Father, yes. I yes. prophesy Holy a Spirit. shift in the minds yes. and the hearts Spirit. of the people who are watching and who are listening today, God, including our own, God, that our minds are not on money. Our minds are on you, God. Our minds are not on accumulation. Our minds are on you, God. Our minds are, minds are not on collection. Our minds are on you, God. We have set our hearts and our faces toward the kingdom, God. Our eyes are on you, God. Our eyes are on what you've called us to do. Our eyes, oh my God, are on your eyes so that you can guide us, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you speak, I pray, help us to respond to it, God. God, whether that means that we're giving something or we're giving up something, Almighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that by the power of your Holy Spirit, that you would anoint us, God, anoint us to make you our God. Shift it right and now. And put mammon in the, in the place that it belongs. In the, in the holster for the yes. weapon or in the pouch for the tools, God. Yes. No longer, God, will we elevate money to the place, God, that it controls our lives. Yes. But instead, Almighty God, we relinquish, relinquish all control to you. Yes. It all belongs to you. We are yours. Yes. We are yours, Almighty God. So yes. I declare it now in the name of Jesus, and I thank you for it. Yes. yes. Now, I want to share something with you. I, I, I have really hesitated almost to share this with you, but when I felt the spirit of the Lord say it, my, my wife and I were in the, in the middle of, of negotiating for a, a, a pretty large transaction. We're looking for another home. And, uh, and literally to the point of this recording, we don't know how, it, how it's going to work out uh, with, the, with one particular home. We've been obviously looking for a little stretch. And, um, and, it was so interesting, the back and forth that was having to happen and the constant calls from our realtor and dealing with their people and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And everybody was trying to get their, their little grab at it. And I sent a text to our realtor yesterday and I said, I think they really underestimate how little I care about this place. I think that they really thought, oh, man. What's going to happen is they, they're going to walk in and they're going to make a heart decision mm -hmm. and not a head decision. And I did. Yes. Just turns out my heart didn't belong <laughs> to that house. My heart belongs to the Lord. It was completely different. <laughs> and, I, and so I literally, I told my realtor when he was, he, you know, he said, man, I'm so frustrated with, with these people and how they're conducting themselves. I said, oh, don't worry about it. This is our last offer. If they take it, they take it. If they don't, they don't. Yeah. Really, right at this stage right now, I don't even want to have to deal with them anymore. Yes. Because I really think they're underestimating how little I care about this house. Yes. I share that story to share it with you. Let your heart be set on the things of God. Mm -hmm. And everything else is going to be so minimized mm -hmm. that you won't strive anymore. Listen to me. That you won't strive anymore. Yeah. For things that don't matter. Yes. Yes. They don't matter. Mm. Mm. I take no thought for where I'm going to sleep. Mm. Because it's the Lord that pillows my head every night. Yes. So, yeah. so yeah. trust in him today. Yes. And get your heart off of nonsense. Yes. Yes. And right now I hear somebody uh, is thinking. Mm. You have been in the process of becoming a missionary mm. and you're trying to work all the sense out and i feel in my spirit that god's saying if you'll be a missionary right now mm -hmm. right now where you are right now right now where you are you'll find this plan come together mm. but right now mm. you're trying to work this thing out in the flesh you've laid out a plan you've laid out on how you're going to accomplish the work of god mm -hmm. And he's saying, no, no, you, you, you got to understand you have to become this in your heart first. Mm -hmm. Then you'll find out that it will manifest everywhere else. And I hear another man that he's, 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 um, you're, you're turning around and debating almost with God on how you're going to, how, how your ministry is going to be paid by your ability. Mm. You're working wow. this out inside of your heart on how you're going to pay for your ministry. Can I tell you, let God do that. Yes. Let God do that. Yes. Let God do that. If you can't trust him to pay for it, then you can't trust him to do it. Yeah. Wow. 
And it takes him to do it, Amen. not you. Amen. So, Father, I thank you for that. Bless yes, us. Jesus. Bless us, name of God. Jesus. Yes, God. In Jesus' name, we name thank you for Jesus. your word. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, listen, it's Wide Open Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so make your schedule wide open tonight and come and join us either Hallelujah. at our Forsyth campus or Locust Grove campus at 7 o'clock tonight. There's yes. literally something for everybody. Yes. Come on out. We'll see you tonight, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. Hey, everybody. Pastor Jason here. We want to thank you for joining us for today's devotion. Remember to share it across your social media platforms. If you live in the South Atlanta area or the North Macon and Forsyth areas and you are looking for a great church where the power and the presence of God are on display, we would love to have you visit us at our Revival Center campus in Locust Grove, Georgia, or our Forsyth campus in Forsyth, Georgia. You can find information about these locations at our website, AbundantLifeChurch.com. Remember, it's time to stretch yourself. It's time to dream bigger. It's time to believe for the impossible. It's time to expand.